Now, as we have already seen how to use the get method to test the OLTA service, we have added a URL, passing the credential, we have done the testing of this get method. Similarly, let's have a look at the post method. So, if you remember in the SAP, suppose we want to perform a post operation. So, after selecting this record, what we have done, we have used this, this as a request. And here we have selected the post method. And after doing some changes, we pass this record to SAP system. So, same we will try to do from the postman side. So, what we will do so before that, just look at the number of records in this Z OVB AK table. So, currently we have 29 records in this table. So, here add one more vote request as a post. This time change the table post method test. Here select the post method, copy the same URL, but as this is a post method, so we don't have to pass any key field in the URL. In the authentication, add the same, the ID password is already there. The most important here, how to pass the body. So if you see in the gate method, we had received a response. The same JSON we have to pass in the input of the URL. So what I will do, I just copy this response as it is because in SAP after get call we have used that as a request for the post method. Same thing we can do after calling this get method and copying this response. I'm going to my post method here. In the body select raw. If you know how to build a JSON then you don't have to copy this. You can simply do with your own. So I'm removing all unwanted data from here and I'm keeping only the required details. So this is the structure as per our format like VBLN, ER data and all. So here I'm changing the VBLN value and passing as 2021 29 let's say 18 so i'm passing this vbl id let me check if any record already there with this id here i will change the net wr as let's say 150 and corner i'm changing to 30 or data remark i'm giving as test from postman Okay, so this is I generated the body. Check whether any record exists with this VPLN. So no record exists. Now, if I'm passing the operation here and the JSON body, and even if we do testing, system will give error. So let's first have a look at the error. Send. So here you can see. The CSR token validation failed. CSR is cross site. CSR is done for cross site request forgery, which is used to prevent our server from the hacker. So, before any post call, first the requesting system need to send a get call and ask for the token. A token is a number. In that number, we have to pass along with this post method header. So how to fetch that token? For that, first go to the get call and in the header, here we have to use x csrf hyphen token and the value is fetch. Send the request. So we must send the request. So in the header, here we can see the CSRF token value. This is the CSRF token value. 
no copy this token value this number is valid based on your SAP system setting by default generally it is 30 minutes means once you get call this token number we can use for the post method for next 30 minutes but it still it is completely depend on the individual system so I'm copying this CSF token from here I'm going going back to my post method but this time in the header here also same x csrf token and in the value pass the token number so what we have done first we have called the get method we have fetched token and in the post method we have already our body is ready in the JSON format and in the header we are passing the csrf token set the request click on send button why again it is giving let me check why again it is giving csrf token fail let me check first yeah here my spelling is wrong token save click again on send button but this time you can see the status code is 201 and it is created so let's cross check the same value whether in SAP it is created or not so I'm copying the same VP here earlier there was 29 record just do a refresh we can see the new record is successfully created which the remark I pass as test from postman and the quantity I pass as 150 and the number you can cross check 20210929918 this is the same record which just now we have created from the postman tool so this is how we can use a postman considering as a front-end system for testing of the OLTA service all the testing which we do in this get their client that all we can perform from this postman tool so in this way we done with the testing of OLTA service from the postman tool and we have seen how to use get and post method as an assignment you consider the put update delete method as an assignment for the testing from the postman tool.